morning guys it's early it's early it's friday the 10th i've just dropped dexter off for his adventure however i said i'd stay and wave him off on the coach so i'm going to be sitting here for about half an hour um i just picked this up in the shops protein bar it's 204 calories so i thought i'd have that for my breakfast today while i'm sitting here and yeah today brings um injections i've got to take my mother for a booster injection um in dowie sant and i think that's about as exciting as the day gets no clue at all what to have for dinner tonight but while i'm sitting here potentially wasting half an hour i'm gonna have a look on cookadoo and see what there is on there i'm also gonna have a look on tiktok which is my go-to place for recipes and i cannot believe that i will be picking up michelle again tomorrow to go to weigh-in i need four pounds to get my stone and a half four pound been very good this week very good indeed but will i have got the four pounds who knows who knows right guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna catch up with you later um i don't know whether i'll pop into b and m when i'm with my mum as we're in ponty um but yeah we're going right out when it's lunchtime so I don't know what lunch is going to hold, but we shall see. I need to really book in and have my hair cut, see how long it's getting. However, all this is mega short because I had like an undercut, didn't I? So I need to go and get it leveled out, really. It's a shame I can't take my head off and cut it myself, but yeah. Feed Cookie. She's just about getting into her food bowl there. She was a bit feisty last night. She charged me. There she is there having her breakfast. Nice. She's still got her legs hanging out. But she'll be right in there in another minute or so. Them little legs. Ah. Right, it's best to get on. I've got 45 minutes now before I got to pick up my mum. So I will catch up with you then. Right guys, we are off out. I'm taking my mother to be jabbed. The old C, C O V I D. You know, you don't have to have them anymore if you don't want them. Yeah, but they reckon it's um, not very nice if you can get it. But you've had it. You don't even remember it. I've had Covis. Covis. It's not a loaf of bread. Yes, you've had that sea thing. Well, I thought I'd only ever had the injection. No, Mum, you've actually had it. Well, do you remember me? Keep testing you, sticking a big swab down your throat. Yeah, I know a few people that have had it more than once. 
I've never had it made. Never, ever, ever. Although I swear blind I had it before it was made public. I was so ill that time. But I've not knowingly had it. I've just got a feeling they're going to say to me, do you want yours done at the same time? Who's changed their mind? Oh, Mum, turn your hearing aids up, man. I said, they're going to probably turn around and say to me, do I want mine done at the same time? Oh. Well, did you go for it or did you say, no, nah, I don't want it? I just don't remember. I had it last time you had it. Right, we'll have it again then. I don't necessarily want it. Well, it's, it, all these things are free and I, I, I wouldn't say no to them. Just because it's free, yeah. doesn't mean you should take it. When you're very ill and that, you'll be saying, Oh, I wish I had that chat. <clears throat> well, I was apparently on the vulnerable list when it first all came out because my, my BMI and that, I was like, should have been up there with the... Um, One's getting done first and time was getting on and I was like, no one's contacted me, blah, blah, blah. And then when I rang the doctors months and months later saying, shouldn't I have had a jab? She was like, oh, she basically said, sorry, you slipped through the net. So, I didn't have it for ages. I don't mind having a piercing or getting tattooed, but having an injection, I'm not fussed. <laughs> Michelle wanted her ear pierced again. She's there. I might go down there tomorrow and get a new hole. I don't think I've got enough holes in my head. It's not listening. Um, the one that was at the house the other day. Your house? Yeah. Uh, is it Alison? Alison. Well, her, Alison. Her, her, well, it would be her, not a girlfriend, but the girl. Girlfriend. Can't remember her name. She's doing tattoos for a job. Oh. I wouldn't be very good at tattoos. I'm not very artistic. Tell you what, there's some amazing tattoo artists out there. I'd like to have my whole arm covered in tattoos. Oh God. I'm getting a bit old now though. I sometimes wonder whether to have a nice neck tattoo there because my neck's getting wrinkly. It'd cover up the wrinkles, disguise them a bit. Warren's not a fan. It, no, if you haven't, um... Oh, look at this. Div. Uh, Warren's not a fan of piercings and tattoos. He puts up with it. When I get them done. All those years ago, I had the tiniest little butterfly on my chest and I knew he wouldn't like it and, um told him it was a temporary one, semi-permanent, it would wear away. And then after a few months, he was like, that's taken a long time to wear away. The wear, I thought, when you had No, it. I was pretending, because I knew Warren didn't like tattoos, so I pretended. And um, he got used to it then, so then I went and had it made bigger. And then I had another one, and another one, and another one, and another one got them up my legs. Worst place ever, 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 ever to have a tattoo. I could have cried and cried. It was so painful. Couldn't feel it on my chest. Oh my God, massive Arctic glory. I'll be coming up here tomorrow with Michelle. This is the way we go when we go to get weighed. It's a long way to go. Not really. It's a good club. If you find the right place to go and, you know, it's worth the trip. Well, how do you know 
is wonderful. Because we've been going a few weeks and it's working, so we keep going at the moment. I've lost over a stone. be the one getting a ticket because it's 50 along here and it's variable speeds and I was doing 49 will I get my stone and a half award tomorrow mum what do you think I need to lose four pounds to get my stone and a half mm. Michelle needs um oh god what does she need Pound or pound and a half or something like that. Not not a lot. Oh, I'm looking a bit thinner, I think, around the um, around the chops. Do you think? If your glasses are white, you might be able to see better. Whenever I lose weight, it always goes off my chins first my face is scruffy. no i done it for you this morning yeah no you didn't cream it since that. when have i creamed your face don't start um, giving me extra that. jobs now no i if, you I, could have done I it at three see... o'clock this morning when you were downstairs did you go back to bed or did you just stay down there? No, I eventually went back, back to bed, but I don't know what I was doing. It was dark. It generally is at 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, you've only got to turn them on on the wall and it's magic. You get a light. It can't have been that bad if you can remember doing it. opening the front door and going for a blinking wonder at three o'clock in the morning. Oh God. I will chuck you in home then. Blah blah, and um, she was like, "Oh, he's sweet, and he, and he's sweet kids." I was just like, "Yeah." He's saying what? She said he was a sweet kid. Oh, they all say that. Well, he is. You hear? Uh, he's a lovely little lad. Um, he has his moments, like everyone. This is the tightest turn in. Pontypreed, I reckon. This street. Mm. No parking, it says there, and there's three cars parked there. And it doesn't mm. sell parked. Uh, uh. You're allowed to park there. Right. I was thinking we were, we were going further afield. Where did you think you were going then? Timbuktu. Uh, cool, look at that car coming down there. That'd be good for sledging. I know, it's a big hill, isn't it? Oh, where are we 
beginner park. Oh, there were parks on the edges as well, look. So that means there's nowhere to park. That's just great. Are you coming or going? Coming out, or they've just gone in. No, they've just gone in, I think. Oh, bloody great. Oh, where are we going to park then? Well, we've got 25 minutes and we've got a full battery, so we can do a so couple of rounds of the car park. In there, yeah, but I can't get in a normal space because I can't get door open, right? If I drop you off at the door, can you see to yourself? I don't know. No, if I drop you at the door and say you go in and have it done, can you take yourself in there? I don't know. You just gotta walk in and say, it's Helen Gibson, come for your COVID jab. Yeah? <laughs> Not up for that, are you? <laughs> huh? There. You're not up for that? No. I could park there, look. Strictly no parking. Yeah, we'll park here and then I'll wheel you in the old chair up to there. What have you got? What's, where's the parking space? Here. It's on the end, so I'm alright for getting out the door and I'll come round and let you out. It's purely the door being, not being able to open my side that's the issue. Right, we've got to wait here for uh, 15 minutes, maybe. Because we're early. Mm, you can feel that heat coming in. Mm. That's quite nice. Quite nice. I don't know how many days it's on for. I don't know, but it can bugger off. What do you reckon that decoration up there is for? It's just a mural. Not, some, not somebody's house. That's the side of someone's house, yeah. Looks pretty, don't you think? A bumblebee or a wasp on a flower. How many flowers do you reckon there is? What, in this hospital? Yeah, one, two, two three, four. three, three, and then the roof. Do you fancy going to have a look in B&M? Mm -hmm. Probably get the batteries in there. Yeah, all right. I could do with some coke, but, oh, fuck, can't go to a Tesco's, but might have to. I need to get okay. some Galda. Someone? Galda? What's that? Cheese. I'm going to make mac and cheese for tea and my garlic bread. There's a recipe I found to do it in a the thermo mix. Look at that, he's not looking. How long is that? Hmm? How long does it take in that? I don't know, I didn't look at the time, it doesn't take long. You just, um, you put it in there and then you put it into a baking dish and put panko breadcrumbs on top and grill it. So it's got like a crunchy top to it. And that's it, ready to eat? Just like that. It's got parmesan, I think it is, and gouda. That's how you say it. I won't get Galda in B&M. How do you know? They don't sell fancy cheese. I'll get a lump of cheddar. <laughs> I wouldn't get a fancy one. There's, um, there's Morrison's. Could go to Morrison's and get some Rivita. Them chocolate Rivitas I got. The kids ate all them. But what do you chocolate 
Rivetus. I always thought Rivetus was for not sweet things like no, that. No, they they come. They've got like the hard chocolate. I could make them yourself. It's only melted chocolate spread on it and hardened. Rivetus are generally savoury, although the fruit crunch Rivetus lovely with chocolate spread on. I'm going out talking about food. Don't know what's for lunch. I'll calorie there'll be calories in my tea because obviously the cheese. And then I'm gonna make homemade garlic bread. So I need to pick up some rolls. I think Morrison's actually sell cheap coke. Mm -hmm. I think. I'm only going to yeah, but the, these shop. cheap cokes do they all taste different? They well, don't. they're all much the same. They don't like. They all got rot your guts. That'll be on my gravestone. She did like a glass of coke, our casa. If I have my way, I'm not having a gravestone. Do you? Uh... I want to be like Warren's parents. There's nothing to go back to. They're gone and that's that. Well, this is it. And the worms and that come along and eat you and... Nice. What are you... No, but look at, the, look at the likes of Dad's grave. He's miles and miles and miles away. We're not there to attend to it. The headstone's gone all funky. You can't even read it. It could be Joe Bloggs in there. And every now and again, you're like, oh, we should go down to the grave. We should we should go down and give it a, put a flower on it and that. But I don't want, I got boys, like, girls are different. I got boys and it's like, they're not going to want to come and put flowers on my grave and stuff. You're gone and that's that, that's all I want. I'm even going to say, to, well, I've already said to him, I just want one of them, um, Burials, not burials, pure cremation, where they just take, well, what you, happens? take you away, sort you out and give you back and that's it. No party, no funeral, cheap and cheerful. You're not going to know anything about it, are you? Can have a chewing gum? Until you say, ah! <laughs> yeah, well, if, you, if I die before you, I'll certainly haunt you. That'd be a bloody nightmare, wouldn't it? If I die before you. You'll either end up in a home or in Spain. Go and live in the sun with your other daughter. That's not gonna happen, is it? Why, because you don't like the sun? Well, look at Granny. She got yep. shipped off to America. To live with her daughter. Are you watching the time? I am. My wonderful granny. Bing, bing, bing. I only had one wonderful granny. That was your mum. The other one. I wouldn't class her as a granny or anything else. No, I remember going up and is it my mother or somebody and they said, Who's there? But she just smiled, she didn't know who I was. What, when your mother had dementia? I don't know what she had. I remember your mother, she was lovely. Dad's mother. A different grade. Different grade. She was a friggin' alien. When my kids have kids, if I'm still alive, I'll be a good granny. Well, she shouldn't have... <sighs>
she should have been a nicer granny she was horrible that's why when she fell through the garden chair i left her there and went and played on my bike <laughs> what she fell through the garden chair when you were inside and i was in the garden on my bike and she cut all her arm and she went go and get your mother and i basically told her to get lost and I went out and played on my bike and either you or dad found her sandwiched in this chair. How could you be so cruel? Oh, you don't know what I got in me, mum. So you better behave yourself. I'll be leaving you sandwiched in a chair. She was horrible. And you know it. And you know it. But my sister, the, oh, she was wonderful. What's wonderful? My sister was wonderful. Do like they say, not you come... think you're wonderful if you go to leave them stuck in a chair? <laughs> I was loads I did. And I locked her in the dining room. Remember? She kept calling me a bitch and stuff and you were out she was supposed to be looking after me so i thought right i'll show you what a bitch i can be i locked her in the dining room and then about 10 minutes later you came back and then i was like oh she did this she did that right we're gonna go in now and get jabbed and we'll catch up with you in a bit right we're back in the car it's absolutely boy loss we went to b and m i'll show you what i got on the way back well well not on the way back when i'm back just picked up this to eat. My mother's got a sandwich to take home. I just picked up some cooked chicken and some mango chunks, which I'm gonna nibble on the way back. And I can't hang about because my mum's got some ice creams and they're gonna melt because it is seriously hot. So I'll catch you back in the house and Floss will be with me again very soon. Finally back, boiling hot. My mother's gone off on a tangent, but I've left her to it. I've got a man coming to cut the grass in another couple of hours. So I've just put a bag out. I don't cut grass. I can't cut grass. I do the hedge and I struggle with that. I've got a lovely guy that does grass and he's doing mums as well. So we nipped into B&M. We were gonna to go to Morrison's, but couldn't park anywhere that was acceptable for me getting out the car easy. Um, my mother wanted to be the queen today and wanted to go in a wheelchair. So that was hard work. So we ended up in Lidl's. But I got what I needed anyway. Right, me and Michelle have been invited to the wedding of the year. See? That even made me go, ooh. Back door open, flies come in. But the killer zapper had it. Um, Yeah, me and... Michelle have been invited to wedding of the year. So I was looking for an acceptance card. We weren't gonna be going because Michelle's mum is waiting on an operation, but the operation has been moved, which is now allowing us to go. So I got this card. They didn't have an acceptance card, but this one just says, thank you so much. Um, so I can write in there that we'd love to come, you know, whatever. You write anything like that. I'm gonna have to go and buy something to wear now. I don't do frocks. I'm not saying if I lose a lot of weight, I'd do a frock, but I just don't do frocks at the moment anyway. We don't necessarily need more crisps, so don't come at me thinking, this is the third shop in all she's done and she had crisps. But we don't usually have this flavor in the other shops, so I picked them up. Smoky Bacon, Seabrook's 126 calories a bag. So I got them. I also picked up these because Warren, um, I don't know where the other one is a minute. Warren likes a quick something to eat. And also if I'm on my own for any reason, not very often, or the kids just want something quick, um, these are ideal. It says it serves one, which again is great. This one is a um, carbonara sauce and it's 152 calories for the whole pouch. Now I didn't think that was bad. You know, your pasta zero count. Count the Domio. A little bit of cheese on top. Even if you're on the lowest calories on grow, you could quite easily accommodate that. 
So I've got that. There is another one which has less calories, which is in this bag, which I'm gonna have to get down on. I picked up two, there is another one somewhere, two pot noodles, because they were a pound and they're the king ones, which is a good price. 523 calories, so them, kids eat them. I got these spices. Now, I was looking at the ingredients in these, and I think they're going to be zero. Let me double check. Yeah. Oh, no, they're not. That one's not, anyway. Um, garlic, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, they're not going to be zero, because they have both got sugar in, something I missed. But for a nice taste and for quite little calories, I would use calories on these. So we've got steakhouse seasoning rub because we do like a bit of steak. So, but that would be nice on chip. Both of them would be nice on chips. So steakhouse and then Texas barbecue. So I got those. They're only eight to nine p, and they're really big tubs. Can't smell them through there. But yeah, it's giving you the option of either you can pour it out or shake it out. So I will be trying those probably on some chips. I picked up these for convenience because this plain white rice is zero on grow. So if I want something for convenience, I can just grab that. That is zero. This is the other Dolmio I picked up. And this one is 94 calories for the pouch and it is tomato and basil. So quick dinner. Bit of pasta, chuck that in, bit of cheese on top, Bob's your uncle. Right, sour cream and onion rings. Got them, 75 calories. They are potentially for me if they last long enough. And do you remember me saying to you that Warren asked me to get him after shave? And I forgot. Or well, when I went into B&M, they had it in there and I picked it up. The only thing is you can't smell them. It's Ted Baker, so it's a good make. So I thought, um, you know, we'll give it a go. Warren's actually here. Warren, I've got your Ted Baker aftershave. Oh, another fly's just had it. So we're gonna smell it. It might smell um, funky. It might smell really nice. I just thought Ted Baker, that'll be. It's quite a big, um, quite a big bottle. Can't get a lid off. Don't drop the lid. It's a spray. So we'll go. Oh. Hmm, I like that. You wear some of that to bed tonight. It smells nice. What do you think? Alright. Alright. You only want it for wearing to work on that, do you? Mm hmm. It's alright for nine ninety nine. Bit of budget uh Better to have some not after shave. You can go and put it with all your others. It's good to have some and not use it. Not have some. That's right. I got the other mm -hmm. two some of the cheap versions of these because Dex is away and they'll probably want to do movie night and that. Well, Jackson will. Um, salt and vinegar, medi salted, and they are 159 calories for 30 grams. And the salt and vinegar is the same. So I've got those. Jackson's going to be in from school any minute. We have got fork gate in this house again. The forks, I bought more cutlery and the forks have vanished. And then I get mad in the kitchen at dinner time because it's like, there's no forks. And everyone gets a fork and I don't. And I'm like, where's all the forks? I don't know. They're either throwing them out and I'm not noticing them in the bin or they're lying that they're not upstairs. I don't know. So I just got some more forks. I did. But they're only two quid, right? 
for four forks. So 50p a fork. They're not going to be the best forks, but if they go missing, I don't care. So I just got some more forks. So we can stop the hassle at um, dinner times, you know. Picked up um, corned beef. Do you remember corned beef used to be dirt cheap? You would eat corned beef if you were skin and you would get a tin of corned beef because it would be really cheap. Now you need a mortgage to get corned beef. Um, however, this one was on offer for 1.99, so I picked up two because I made a corned beef hash before. I think it was called corned beef hash. It's absolutely delicious, and I'm contemplating whether to do that tonight, other that rather than the macaroni. I'm not decided yet. And um, but if I do do it, you literally put baked beans in the bottom of a dish. You cook some potatoes and then you fry the potatoes once they're cooked to brown them with some onion and then you chop up corned beef, put that in as well and then you lay that over the baked beans and then you put cheese on top and that's it. So all you'd have to count is your cheese and your corned beef. So watch this space. Will we end up with that or will we end up with macaroni? But that's what that's for. I also picked up um, Warren is a soup snob. He will occasionally have other soup, but he is a Heinz soup snob. So they had five cans for a fiver, and I'm sure in Tesco they're four cans for a fiver. Um, so I picked them up. So 88 calories for half a can of beef broth. Chicken, that is not chicken, that is tomato. It's because he always has chicken. I say chicken. Tomato soup, that one is 102 calories for half a can. I did also get one chicken, and the chicken is 106 for half a can. So I got them. I also picked up these. Um, I've had orange dime bars before, they're really nice. And they are 152 calories, but I saw these. Strawberry. So I bought two packs of them. It's only three in a pack and they are 153 calories. So I will see if I can budget one of them in tonight. Um, yeah, they weren't too bad either in price. I think they were like 125 for three bars. So I've got some dime bars. And then I just picked up Two packets of pasta they're zero count on the grow plan and that was everything i got in b m because they were um no we were going in to get the batteries that we're after and guess what they had them in single packs for two pound 49 for one battery and you can get a whole sheet of them in home bargains for that or less so I said to my mother, right, we won't get them and we'll go to home bargains next week or something. So I got them. Then we went into Lidl's. There wasn't anything that exciting in Lidl's, to be honest. I got some parsley. I may put some of that on our dinner. The rabbit. Um, I'm not sure the tortoise can eat that. There's quite a lot of things I think I'll give the tortoise. And when I check on tortoise table, which is an app I've got, which is really good, it tells you if it's safe or not. So if you've got a tortoise and you don't know about it, download tortoise table, um, it's free. Um, because I gave my tortoise some broccoli, but I didn't look on tortoise table before I had it. And this girl messaged me and she said, oh, um, just let you know, they, they're not really supposed to eat broccoli. So I was like, so, yes, she hasn't had broccoli since. But, yeah, it tells you if stuff's poisonous or not. I got some strawberries. I thought they looked really nice. Two ninety five for a punnet of strawberries. I thought that was a lot. But they are zero count. Parsley is zero count. Um, I just picked up these cheap white rolls. They make, these cheap white soft rolls make the best garlic bread with garlic gold um obviously there is warren and Mackenzie, and then there is me my mother and jackson so we're a roll short but these rolls are coming in at 255 calories for one roll 
And my mother eats like a sparrow. So I said to my mother that we'll share a roll rather than me buying another pack of rolls just to get one out of it. So I'm going to halve my calories by just having half for one. And that'll be enough. What else we got in here? Well, uh, 0% yogurt. That is zero count on as long as you get zero percent. I was tempted to buy the five percent because you just get that little bit more creaminess, but no, nah, I went with the zero. This is the gouda that I needed for the macaroni if I do do it. And I just needed some, what I'd call normal cheese. Um, 125 for 30 grams. I do have cheese in the fridge, but I just got some more anyway, because my son keeps using the cheese and then I go to make something and it's like, where's the cheese? Where's the bloody cheese? This gouda, 130 per 30 grams. I don't think I've had that cheese before. It's like a hard cheese by the looks of it through the packaging. It's strength four, so it's obviously strong. So I got them and then the last, Two things I picked up. I did buy just some cans. These are zero count on grow. However, they're only like one can. Yeah, one can is one calorie. I got those because me and my mum were thirsty. And it was like, shall we have one of them or shall we have a Cornetto? And I was like, no, I have one of them for one calorie. Although I don't count my Diet Cokes. And then the last thing, I bought with some more bananas because we're out of bananas again. These are zero count. So I didn't get a lot. Um, we didn't need a lot. Just needed a couple of bits for dinner. I'm going to have five before Jackson walks through the door. And yeah, you shall see in the next clip what we come up with for dinner. So place your bets now. Macaroni or corned beef hash. I'll see you for whatever it is. Oh my God, he's so hot. I have just taken my son to work and I've just stopped off at Mother's and I'm having a chocolate, a cheeky chocolate, 117 calories. And my son wants dinner, so I'm not gonna do our dinner till late. So about another three hours. So hopefully that will keep me going. And here's Floss. Just stopped in, um, as I was saying, I think I need to sort my mother's hair out. What is going on with your hair? It's all fuzz <laughs> forward. <laughs> your hair. Did you look about the little strip? Uh, yeah, uh, he's done a good job. Enjoying the ice cream? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm off home. This is strange. Dexter's not here, Mackenzie's not here. Jackson is here, loving life. Just went out and got the biggest ice cream from the ice cream van ever. Warren's gone for a nap. It's quarter past six at night. Mum's decided she doesn't want dinner. She's not hungry, because she didn't have her lunch till late. I'm friggin' starving now, so I'm having this banana while I watch Jackson demolish his mega ice cream. Um. I gave him a five hour, I said, oh, have what you want as you're the only one here. Comes back, I said, where's the change? There is none. He bought an ice cream that cost a five hour. When did ice creams cost a bloody five hour? Um, anyway, we're going with the corned beef hash. So I've just put some potatoes in the steamer. So they're ready for me to do. It's so simple. It don't take long at all. Literally, beans in the bottom of a dish. Cooked potatoes in a frying pan with onion. They go on top of the beans, cheese on top, and that's it. And I'm going to probably do garlic bread. I say probably, might leave it. I, I don't know, we'll see. But for now, I'm having this because I'm friggin' starving. This is my dinner. It's worked out at 602 calories because I ended up having a full roll as my mother wasn't having any. I've put some ketchup on. It's quite hard to see. That is, but it's like a corned beef hash and... I'm hungry now because it's so late. But yeah, that is dinner. Guys, I'm finishing my night with these. 153 for that, 98 for that. Still got calories left. I'm gonna sit down and watch telly now. I'm absolutely boiling, but yeah. 
and it's way day in the morning so i shall see you tomorrow thanks for watching